Hey everyone, I'm Justin with ExtremeTerrain.com and today we're going to be taking a closer look at and installing the Raptor style LED grill light kit here available for all 2021 and newer Broncos, excluding those Raptors. Now, you should be checking out these affordable options from XT if you're looking for, I would say, a super easy to install set to give off kind of those Raptor vibes and to ultimately make yourself and your Bronco more visible both on the road or on the trail. Big features here with this particular kit, guys, will be the bright Raptor styling thanks to the modern amber LEDs, easy installation, all at what I would call a pretty affordable price point. Now, the amber grill light trend originally made popular by the OG Raptor F-150s and more recently, of course, the Bronco Raptors is something that a lot of non-Raptor owners, both truck and Bronco alike, tend to add to their rides because not only does it look a lot cooler, but it's also going to add some improved visibility while on the road or trail both day and night. And that is always a good thing to point out. Now talking a little bit more about the construction here with the kit. Well, as you can see, you're getting three individual amber lights here loaded with those high powered LEDs. The housings themselves have been sealed up nice and tight. They are waterproof or weatherproof housings, I should say. And that's gonna help prevent any moisture, fogging, or condensation from building up uh, over the years. Now the kit does include a pretty nice harness here in addition to everything needed for the install. And basically what you're going to be doing here, guys, is tapping the amber lights into your factory parking light harness. Um, at this point, the lights will illuminate whenever your parking lights or your headlights have been switched on. Now, price point for this particular kit is going to hover around 150 bucks, which I would say is going to be pretty much in line with other Raptor style grill light kits currently on the site at the time of this video. But now let's shift gears and get into the installation portion of this video. And the site is going to lean into a solid one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter taking you at least 20 minutes to complete from start to finish, depending on how proficient you are with your wiring. Uh, again, keep in mind guys, it's very, very minimal, certainly nothing to be afraid of here, uh, but it will add a little bit more time to the install itself. Now, a nice thing about the design of this kit and the shape of the lights themselves, they are designed to simply snap into your factory grill without any drilling or modification. So that part is certainly gonna be very, very easy. But to give you a better idea of just how everything will go down on your Bronco at home, check out our detailed walkthrough and tool breakdown. For this install, you will need a ratchet, 10 millimeter socket, wire strippers and crimpers, needle nose pliers, a clip removal tool, and also not included with your kit, but will be needed is a ring terminal. What's up guys, today we're gonna be installing some grill lights in our Bronco, so let's get started. So before we go on to the vehicle, we're gonna to need to do some quick little wiring set up for our harness here. Now you are provided in your kit with a fuse tab, so we're gonna add that to our positive wire here. And it does come slightly stripped, but we're gonna go ahead and take a little bit more of that sheathing off just for a better connection. So we'll grab our strippers here. Go ahead and pop that off right now. And clean up our wiring. We're gonna add that into our butt connector here. We'll go ahead and give that a good crimp. And we'll give it a little tug just to make sure it's secure. We'll go ahead and add another crimp to that. And for our negative wire, we're gonna go ahead and again, take a little bit more of that sheathing off. Now you can ground this to any solid ground you want. We're gonna add a ring terminal to ours. Now this is not included with your kit, but is readily available at any hardware parts store for a few cents. So we'll go ahead, get that into our ground wire here. Make sure that's nice and secure. And again, we'll take our crimpers. Go ahead and give that a solid crimp and a little pull just to make sure it's good. Now that our harness is ready, we can go ahead and start putting everything on the car. So now we're gonna go ahead and remove this upper radiator cover here. 
We're gonna grab our clip removal tool, remove all of our push clips around the cover. We're gonna leave that one in because we're gonna pull this whole intake tube off with our cover. Go ahead and pop this out. And this whole cover will come out with our tube and we'll set this aside. So now we're gonna go ahead and grab our harness and we're gonna get our connectors through the holes that we want our lights to go through. And for ours, we're gonna line our center one up with our front facing camera here. And then we're gonna space it out two in between each light. So we're going to go ahead and feed this right behind here in this opening and just get it to stay in the middle of the grill here. We'll go ahead and walk this over. This may get a little bit tricky as it is kind of a tight spot. Down here we have our center one. One, two. Get our passenger side one set up here. And we'll get our middle one set up there. One, two. We'll have that one set up there. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our lights and get those plugged in. We'll take our connectors. Pop those right in. And we're going to plug all three in before we set these in place. And once we have those in, we can go ahead and these simply pop right in. Pull your harness back a little bit. pop right into your grill like so. So now for our little power block here, it has an adhesive backing strip, so we're going to go ahead and remove that cover. Easier said than done. So we'll go ahead and peel this cover off, and we're just going to find a little flat spot right here. Let's stick that on out of the way. Then we're going to take our negative wire here. We're going to ground that right to our negative battery terminal. So we're going to grab our 10 mil socket on our ratchet and run this nut off. We'll stick that on. Get our nut right back on there. We'll go ahead and tighten that right back down. So now we're going to come to our fuse panel here. We're going to go ahead and remove the cover. These three tabs. Go ahead and set that aside. So now that we have our cover off of our fuse panel, we're going to come over here to this 5 amp fuse uh, at the end of our panel here. Now this, this is for the 360 degree camera function for this particular Bronco. If yours doesn't have that, you might want to find an alternative, but this is the one we're going to use because it's safe and it 
only operates when the vehicle has power and it is either on or with the key on engine off. So you're not gonna run the risk of draining any of your lights or anything like that. So we'll go ahead and pull that fuse with our needle nose pliers here. Just be careful that it doesn't go flying anywhere on you. Definitely wanna cover it to make sure you can catch it. So we have that. Then we're gonna add that five amp fuse into our fuse. So now we're gonna add this five amp fuse into the open slot of our fuse tap. We're gonna go ahead and set that, and we'll go ahead and set that right back into where that fuse came out. Go ahead and get our wire tucked out of the way here. Place our cover. Now we can go ahead and replace our upper radiator shroud. So we'll get our intake tube lined back up here. Put that back into place. Make sure we're not pinching any of our wiring. Make sure that seats. And we'll go ahead and replace all of our plastic clips. Alrighty guys, that about wraps up our review and install of our Raptor style LED grill lights with amber lenses for your 21 to current Bronco, excluding the Raptor. Thanks for watching and as always for everything Bronco, keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.